I'm back again. If you had just watched our introductory video that we made. Um, so right now I'm going to be giving a tutorial for all you beginner airsoft. I've been getting a lot of comments and messages from people who are looking for their first gun and you know different tips and for uh, gun care and how they should start off. So we're going to do that now. First step you want to do is research your gun. Now, if you have, you need to set a price range too, but for most beginners it's around $20 to $50. So, that's what you got to do. You got to look for your gun. Go on to YouTube, which you're on right now, obviously, and um, you can go on to different websites and whatnot. And they usually have like a little section, the web, airsoft websites, like a little sidebar, like it says top 10 backyard players or something like that. I'll put a few links in the, uh, which way am I facing? Put a few links right here, just for you guys, so. Now my beginner gun is right here, the Boy M4A1. Look at that, isn't she beautiful? $25 from Airsplat. However, I do not re recommend this site whatsoever, no matter what your case is. But anyway, the M4, it shoots. That's basically what a beginner wants. This is the job done. So, it's reasonable, I guess. But check out our review if you don't know anything about it. Second step is to buy the gun. Simply just buy it, depending on your price range. But we're sticking to the 20 to 50 range, so you do that. Now try to get if you're eligible to get free shipping within 10 or 20 dollars. Try buying some BBs for a start, or um, possibly get like an extra magazine, because usually the beginners' guns they only come with low capacity magazines which means that they only hold like 50 rounds and um, it runs out pretty quickly it sounds like a lot but it runs out really quickly so try that alright here's my recommended BB type or brand we're just going to go into my magical little box and ta-da Crossman uh, soft air BBs this is 0.12, but definitely get 0.2 gram. Can you see that? Alright. Yeah, get that. I try to get the funnel tip one. Really helps for pouring into speed loaders, which most come with. Just like this. Just open this up. It's really simple. You just take the funnel. Load it in like that. Makes it ultra easy to load it into the clip. Definitely try to get crossings. Now once you have a funnel, you'll run out. So what you want to do is you're going to get the, the 5,000 pack or something like that. But when you put it back into here, I'm just going to do this right now. I don't know if you can see that or not. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep on using this funnel thing right here. Because it's a lifesaver. Take the top of like a soda, 2 liter soda or 1 liter soda. And just pour it in there like this. Hope I don't spill it all over the place and make it pool over myself. But. Looks like a charm. like that. And now what do you know? It's full. Same babies and everything. And now we can load it right into the speed loader without any hassle. Just like that. Now third thing you want to do once you have all your accessories and stuff and once you have all the stuff shipped to you is get a magical box. Just like I did. It works perfectly. So when you're going places you just Know that everything you need is in there, like the speed loader, your safety glasses, uh, BBs, 
and you funnel. And it just works perfectly because you just slide into the car, wherever you're going, and you're done. Now for a little tip, which is the fourth step, by the way, while you're playing, don't be trigger happy. Now my fifth step is this, taking care of your gun. Now after you've just had a long day of four hours of battling furiously with an airsoft gun, your battery is probably dead. So what you want to do is you want to plug it in right away, once it's done, and just leave it there for as long as it says you to, for you to. Um, but don't leave it in there for too long. Don't leave it in there for a week or else the battery life will get shorter and shorter and then it just won't, it'll just die. So, don't do that. And another thing is, don't dry fire, whatever you do. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, what's the problem with dry firing? Think of it this way. If you punch something, like a punching bag or something, um, it's not going to hurt. But if you just punch it nothing for five hours, then your arms, your shoulder is going to, like, get all screwed up or your elbow or something. That's basically what you're doing. The, the, the gearbox in here, right in there, it's just punching the it's just punching the BBs out and whatnot. And when it's not hitting anything, it just screws it up. So definitely do not do that. Ruins your, the quality of your gun. So that's all I got for you guys right now. I um, hope you liked the video. And you know, subscribe if you like it. We'll have more on the way. See ya.